Today we're here looking at 10 of the newest games on mobile that I can almost guarantee that you have never heard of. So if you're looking for a mobile gaming experience, that's something that everyone isn't in on yet, this video is for you. First on today's list is Witch and Council Idle RPG. Now, yes, it's an idle game, but we all have time to play a game that doesn't require much time. Of course, we like idle games. They're not going to be our primary game, but they could be a title that we play, enjoy casually on the side. You know, when you're at work and you're kind of playing when the boss isn't watching, when you're at school, teacher's not looking, you're playing inside of your desk, this is the kind of game. Witch and Council seems to do a really nice job of the idle genre. I really like the graphics. They're cute, yet they have a lot of detail within them. It's not a bit style. You have a great level up mechanism inside of the game. And while you're not playing, you are gaining level, which is really nice for someone that's looking to play a game and enjoy an upgrade sequence without actually having to spend too much time inside of the game. Next up, we have Unreal Hunter, and this is a game that you've definitely never heard of before. It is still on its way to being translated into English, and it is a very fun looking game. There's a lot of action inside of this one, and the graphic style is very good. Gives me a reminder of Shadowgun Legends or even Borderlands on console. Really nice looking game with tons of different characters that you can play as and different types of attacks and weapons that they all do wield. It's a fun type of game utilizing both melee and ranged units, and it's something that you can kind of dive into in a game that feels like an action RPG or an MMO RPG, but it definitely does have its own twist. Now, as I mentioned, it is not over into English just yet, but that will come with time. Doesn't mean you can't get involved and play right now, because like I said, this one is available on TapTap -tap if that's your thing. If it's not and you're a Play Store kind of person, then this may be one that you ignore. But if you want some of those hidden gems, sometimes you gotta dig a little bit deeper and dive into TapTap. -tap. This one looks like a lot of fun and I really do dig the graphics. Next up is Mini World Creata. And although this game is not new, I can almost guarantee that you've never heard of this one. You know why? Because I had to search high and low to find this one. It was something that was very well hidden and it is a creating style game where you're gonna be building in a sandbox style game and uh, enjoying your time. Now, I do like sandbox games on mobile. It's something that we don't have a lot of. There's not a large number of games in this genre. So if you're creative, if you're digging the art style and you want a sandbox, if you're creative, you're, if you're creative and you're digging the art style and you're looking for a sandbox style game, this could be a really viable option for you. Now to be transparent, as I mentioned, this one is not new and it has over 500,000 downloads, but also being transparent, no one really knows about this game. I don't know how so many people downloaded it. So maybe you'll enjoy it. And it does have a community of players that already seems to be established, apparently. Next up, we have King of Kings, which is a newer kingdom builder that's out in the mobile space right now. Now I have to be transparent here as well. This is a decent kingdom builder, but there are better options out right now for those of you that are looking. But if this is something that you're vibing with, if you really like the look of it, or if you're looking to dive into a kingdom builder that has a much smaller community, this may be one that you're interested in. But for me, I prefer to play Call of Dragons, which is also just launched three weeks ago globally. I love it so much that I created a third YouTube channel called Echo Call of Dragons just to play and support this game. It is absolutely the best kingdom builder out. It is not a hidden gem though, because everyone already knows that Call of Dragons is an amazing game and will probably be the leading kingdom builder on mobile but it's early. So if you guys want to be part of it, and if you want to play Call of Dragons, something that's going to be a pretty established and massive game over the next five years, go download Call of Dragons. And while you're at it, go check out my channel, Echo Call of Dragons, for guides, walkthroughs, and live streams, so you can be one of the best players inside of the game. So what secret gems do you guys know of? What games are you playing on your phones that you think no one has heard of before? Because I want to follow up this video with another one with your recommendations. Sniper Gun Survival Shooting, yes please. This game looks pretty awesome actually. It's a very casual style shooter, but with that being said, the graphics are pretty awesome. I actually really like them a lot. And it's a game that you can play without having to dive too much time, attention, or love into. It's one of the casual style games and one of the more casual ones on today's list. Now, no, this is not an autoplay. No, it's not an AFK style game. It's one that you actually do have to play. 
but it's definitely more fun. This reminds me of more a mobile experience from 10 years ago than from now, but with updated graphics and a gameplay that really is fun for modern day gamers. Soul Worker Urban Strategy. Yes, you guessed it right. This is a strategy style game, but really it feels more like an RPG game. So it's one of those types of games that you're gonna be collecting in. It's one of those types of games that you're going to be battling against your opponents in. And as you can see from the gameplay right here, it kind of tells you right away what kind of game you're getting yourself into. Yeah, and that type of game is a turn-based RPG, also categorizes a RPG, and also categorizes a strategy-style game. This is one that is much smaller, a very small number of people have found out about it and downloaded it so far, so you could be one of the first, which means you could be one of the best. Doesn't that sound cool? And next we have Infinite Hero, which is a simulation style game, which reminds me of a mixture of Zelda and Mega Man based on the graphic style. It brings me back to games of the Nintendo from days of old. And this one looks really cool. I like the colors. I like the graphics. If I'm in the mood for graphics that are pixelated like these right here, I think that they do the style very well. The game's also very fast, very action packed and very fun. So I'll ask you right now, are you a type of person that likes those pixelated graphics, old school retro style games? I'm just curious, genuinely want to know if you guys like that. Uh, I personally don't as a primary game, but I do enjoy it in games that I kind of have on the side and just play casually for fun. Next up is Legendary Master Idol, another idol style RPG game that has turn-based elements to it as well. Graphics here are fair to decent, not the pixelated style that I was just discussing, but definitely not the newest age graphics that we're starting to love from games like AFK Arena and things like that. The graphics here though are okay, the gameplay is fun, and it really does have a lot of that action feel to the game. Tons of different skills, abilities, and heroes that you could also unlock inside of the game, which gives you that feeling of appreciation as you progress through the game. Soul Saver is another RPG style game that we have for you here today. It seems like there's a lot of these on the list because there are a lot of this genre in the mobile space. This one actually reminds me a bit of Soul Knight, if you guys know that game, at least as the graphics and the characters go inside of the game. But here, it's another one of those idle style, turn-based strategy style games that has the same type of character progression as we've been discussing from other titles in this video. This one though does it in a vertical format and yes, it's in the world of an NFT. You could choose to engage in it in that fashion if you want to or if you don't want to. It all depends on how you feel with NFTs. Next up is Monsterland 2D MMORPG, another vertical style game, obviously in 2D graphics, and it is a massive multiplayer online game. These ones I actually find really fun, and I also actually really like them in this type of a graphic style. The minimalistic graphics for an MMORPG are actually very nice, and it gives you a little bit more of a refreshing and lighter feel when you're playing the game. Also reinforcing that lightness is the vertical play style. I feel like when you're playing a game in vertical format, it's just a little bit less serious than it is when you're playing in the horizontal format of gameplay, which we see in most games. This one though is a lot of fun, super casual, but it does have an element of grind to it that keeps you going and really makes the game a bit more enjoyable. Guys, if at any point you found this a useful video, you found value or you enjoyed hanging out, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my videos that I put out every single day.